understanding the concept. I, I explain the concept like a duck under. Okay, and, and you'll see some guys that'll duck just enough to get through the hole, and then you'll see guys like Coleman Scott and, and, and some more flexible guys, man, they'll, 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 they'll really sit back and get to their knees. All right, some guys outside step and kind of reach more with their hips. This, we, we, we're kind of doing a little bit of everything with this peak out because we're bringing our hips, we're swimming and ducking, and we're kind of keeping our hips low to the mat. Now, one thing I see some people doing is they're trying to figure out their range. So my knee is kind of like the, the, need, the direction needle, okay? As a way, when I've been watching you guys drill, that's kind of the way I'm thinking about it now. So my knee is like the direction needle, and again, the harder this guy clamps down and the more pressure I have, the, the more effective my peak out's gonna be, all right? But my knee, my knee is kind of my, my range needle. So if my, my knee is pointed out and I'm sliding out, out real far outside the hips, that's all the distance I've got to turn around and make up to get around behind that guy or get to an angle for an attack. So that's what, that's something you guys gotta think about. I was talking to Gavin about it. And like, so with me, if I'm tight right here and I'm looking to get rainbow over the top, clear this hole out and get my hips through on this peak out, I might be chasing hamstring where some of you guys might be going a little bit further out, chasing sock, but you have the reach for it. I'm not gonna tell you, hey, your knee has to be right razor thin next to their knee every time you do it. Kinda depends on what your rundown finish is. Now, the more space you create, the more space you gotta chase down. So we gotta make sure we think about that. A um, Couple other things that I'm seeing you guys start to do with that, with that duck under pressure concept. Um, I, saw, I saw Imani, she's kinda moving into him a little bit, which isn't a bad, now I don't want you to just, okay? This is probably not a great strategy because he's gonna snap me through the floor, all right? But if I get in this position, if I get in this position and I just move in a little bit to get some pressure back, that might make my that might make my, my peak out a little bit better. Okay? It's like I give them a little bit of pressure and he's like, no, no, this is my position. I'm the one in control. I'm the one dictating. Then he gives me a little pressure back, then it makes my peak out a little bit better. Now, what I want you to do is play in there a little bit with this person shutting you down on the side and you either going back to that side or going away from that side, okay? So again, the more active he is in his front headlock, chances are the more successful he's gonna be. Same with me. The longer I just sit here and do nothing, the more chances of me getting scored on are gonna go, go up, okay? So if, I, if I'm peeking out here and he covers, all right? And like I said, I always like peeking away from the foot up side. Just, just I feel like I got, I, I, he's more unathletic on his knee down side, but I'm not saying you're wrong going to the knee, the leg up side. But something Gavin brought up, he said a lot of times when I try to peek out there, guys circle their hips into me. And then I see some guys peeking out like this. That's not peeking out, that's getting taken down, okay? I can't go to my butt. This is unathletic, okay? This is different, much different. I can move here. I can change directions, I can pivot, I can de change. The minute you peek out and slide into second base, you're in trouble. Okay? So if I do peek out, and the reason why I say peeking out to this side is a little bit more risky, is because he can run his hips to me. Right, right over. He can run his hips into me a little bit easier because of that leg upside. But if I go to the knee downside, again, don't slack on your rainbow. Don't slack on your clear rainbow. Boom, that's a big clear, all right? Don't just, don't short arm it, big clear. Now, if he starts to run his hips into me and circle into me here, I'm in good shape, okay? Yeah, I just kind of sat back down on my haunches, got my head in the way, so we gotta stay in athletic positions, all right? It might be that I peek out, he tries to cover, realize he's not gonna beat me, and then he just cuts me, right? So maybe we're here, and I'm kind of pushing in, and he's pulling me around. I peek out, he tries to circle into me a little bit. I peek out, he tries to circle into me, and I just work up to my feet, okay? And I just get my head free, all right? So a lot of times that peek out will just get weight off my hands and get this guy off my head, all right? So I want you to spar in there a little bit, but be thinking about all these little tendencies, all right? But again, the more pressure I have, the easier it's gonna be for me to peek out. Good? Questions? Let's go.